color is the most important pillar in web design. Get this wrong and you're going to have a website which is going to look very unprofessional. Now, Elementor has a tool that allows you to create your color palettes and update them easily. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to use color correctly in Elementor Pro using Elementor's style guide. All right, so over here, I'm logged into my website, as you can see. So what I'm going to do to access this is to come over here to pages and then click on add new. Now, all we need to do is to... Um, create any page or you can go to any existing page. So let's just call this page uh, colors and then we're gonna click here on edit with Elementor. So what we need to do now is to come over here to the top, click on this hamburger icon and click on site settings. And now you're going to see this option which says global colors. Go ahead and click on that. And now you can see that this is now our style guide preview. This is really, really awesome. So you may be asking now, how do we choose these colors and how do we choose colors that work well together? Well, I have a website here called coolers.co. This is a very, very uh, good website. It helps us create colors that work well together. So I'm gonna go through the process of choosing all my colors, how I do it, and how to add them onto Elementor's style guide. All right, so I'm gonna start here by clicking on Start Generator. So all I have to do now is to click on the space bar, and this is now going to bring up all my colors. So at this stage, we want to choose our primary color. This is a very important color, and this is our main brand color. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna cycle through my colors here until I find a color that I could use as my main brand color. So as I'm going through this, I think I'm gonna go with uh, maybe this moss green, okay? So let's say this is my main brand color. All I have to do is to lock it, and then I'm gonna click here and select this hexadecimal value. And now we can come back to our site here and start adding onto our style guide. So let's start here with the, uh, with the primary color. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and paste my color like that. Okay, great, so that's gonna be our main brand color. Okay, so let's move on here. Now remember, with these colors here, you can also go in and rename them. So I can rename this. So I'm gonna say BG color, like that. So that's gonna be my background color. So the next step is to come over here. So what I'm gonna do while I have this color selected is to come over here to shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this very, very light shade here. And then I'm gonna come over here and choose my color like that. Copy C or Control C to copy. And I'm gonna come back over here and paste my color like that. Next, we have our text color. Now for our text color here, it's very, very easy. We just have to use a very dark gray. So what I'm going to do is to in drag my slider down here until I get to 36, 36, 36. So that's gonna be my text color. The next color here is the accent color. So this is the color that I'm going to use for my call to actions or my links. So let's go ahead and choose that color. So what I'm going to do now is to click on the space bar to choose my color. So I think I'm gonna go with this color here as my call to action color. So what I'm going to do now is to click on it and then highlight this and paste it in my color palette. So let's go ahead and paste the value like that, and then over here, I'm gonna leave it as accent, but just remember that this is going to be my call to actions, but if you want to label it, you can go ahead and label it, like that. So we also need the hover state to my call to action, so let's add more colors, so I'm gonna click here on this plus button. So let's go ahead here, and then come back, and for our color here, I'm gonna choose a shade of this color, so let's go with maybe something like that, click on it, let's copy like that. And then we're gonna come back and paste our value like that. Okay, so let's now label this and call this call to action hover. All right, so let's move on to the next color. Now this color here is going to be an important color because it's a, going to be a dark version of our primary color. We're going to use this for our footers and any other areas that we may need a very dark color. So let's click here on this plus button, then back over here. We're now going to go to our shades and we're gonna come all the way down here and select this one here. And let's copy the value like that. And then we're gonna come back and paste it. Okay, now let's label this. 
Now, did you know that you can also add transparencies? So let's add our transparency uh, color here. So to get our 50% transparency, what you want to do is to make sure you choose black as your color here. And the hexadecimal value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then just drag the slider all the way down to just about the middle, which is about there. And that's going to be our 50% transparency. Let's go ahead and save that. Next, we're going to have our 100% transparency. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And I'm just going to call this transparent. And then again, back on our color here, just make sure you choose black. And then just drag this all the way down to zero. So now that's going to be our transparency. So we can also go in and add more and more colors if we need to do that. Or if you're designing a website that has a specific color palette, you can add all your colors here. And it's going to make it very, very easy for you to find them as you're designing your website. Okay, so what we're going to do next now, let's dive in and let's now start applying these colors. But before we do that, we just want to make sure that we click here on update so that all our colors or all our changes that we've made are all updated. Okay, so the next step now is to close out of here. So now let's start designing. If I click here on this plus button, we can go with our layout. So now let's start applying the colors that we've just created. So I'm going to come over here and uh, first of all, I want to get rid of this title here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and just hide the title. Now let's click on this plus button and go with Flexbox. So in here, the design we're going to go with is uh, pretty much a basic one here. Now let's start adding our colors. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And what we need to do first is to add our heading, drag and drop it. And right away, you can see that this now has our main color. So let's just center this. Next, let's add another, uh, another element here. And this is going to be my text drag and drop it and it's right there in the middle and again you can see that this has taken our color that we assigned it to so now all i have to do is to center it the next step now is to add our button so i'm going to come over here let's drag and drop it oops drag and drop right now you can see that our button here it has also taken our color this is my call to action color and again i'm going to center this but what i'm going to do uh, quickly here is to show you how uh, I can access all my colors. So with this selected, I can come over here to style. And then I'm going to come over here to hover. Next, I'm going to go into my color here. So instead of clicking on the main color here, which is uh, the option that allows you to choose whatever color you want, what you want to do is to click on default. This is where you're now going to get all your colors that we've just created. All our global colors are now here. So this is my hover color. So I'm going to select it there. Now notice how easy it is and how fast it is now for me to go in and start adding all this information. So the next step now is to come over here. Maybe I may want to um, increase my minimum height here to VH. So let's set this to uh, 100 and then we're going to center it. All right. So let's say this is our first uh, design. Now you know how Sometimes you want to uh, design your website so that you can distinguish your sections. Now, let me show you where my background color is going to come in. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to click on Flexbox and then choose this. And then I am going to now add a background color to this section by clicking here to select my container. Next, I'm going to come over here to Style. Now, let's go to Background and then click on the global icon. Now, look at this. We have BG color. I can just go in and choose it. And there it is. So just like that, it's very, very easy for me to go in and choose my background color. Now, I want to go in and add my uh, elements in here. So I'm going to click on this plus button. So let's go ahead and add two containers. So I'm going to duplicate this one here like that. So now I have two containers and let's set them side by side. So I'm going to click here and change my direction. So here it is. I'm going to go for row. So now they're side by side. And like I did before, I'm going to go to my minimum height here. And this time I'm going to set this to 90 VH. So make sure you've chosen VH and then you add 90 like that. Okay. So now we have two containers here. We have this one here and now they look different, but let's add a few elements in here. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. We're going to add an image and then I'm going to click here and choose an image that I have uh, in here. And I'm going to go with this one. In fact, let me go with this one here. Select. Okay, so that's my first image. And then I'm just going to center everything here because that doesn't look right. Okay, so there we go. So you can see now my container is starting to take shape. So uh, let's add 
a few more information in here. Perhaps we could add a call to action. There we go, drag and drop it. So I'm just gonna delete the image here because I don't need the image. So now let's use our colors that we have in our color palette. So I'm gonna come over here and let's go to style. So for the background color here, we can always come over here and choose the color that we have. So let's say I go with this color. Now notice that this is also part of our color palette. Or if you just want to go with a light color, I can just go with my background color that I have over here. So you can see how easy it is to go in and choose our colors. Now let me demonstrate how we can play around with our transparency. So I'm gonna come back to my container here and go to style. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna to go to my background and I'm gonna add an image. And the image I'm going to use is this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select it and hit select. All right, so now that I have this uh, image, I'm gonna now go to my background overlay, click over here, and then I'm gonna choose my color. So I can first of all, scroll all the way down and go with 50% transparency. And you can see there, it has been applied. And then now I can increase it if I need to. See that? Now, of course, over here, we have this text which blends in with the background. So that won't be a good way of using our text. Ideally, you wanna go in and choose a lighter color. So I'm gonna click here, go to style, and then I'm gonna come back to my global colors and choose my background color. So you see that this is now changed quickly. And then I can do the same over here, go to my text color and change it. But what is important here is I can go in and find my colors very, very easy uh, using my color palette. Now, at any point, if you decide, you know, you know what, you wanna change these colors, uh, you can always go in and click on this gear icon here to manage the global colors. And once you do that, this is now going to take you back to our style guide preview. So this is where you can go in and change your colors. If you want to add more colors, just click here on this plus button and add another color, give it a label. If you want to adjust this color here, you can always go in and change it a little bit and then it updates. Now, once the color updates here, it's also going to update wherever it is applied across your whole website. So this is the best way to choose your colors using a color system like colors.co and also apply these colors onto the style guide of Elemental Pro. This is going to make it very, very easy to apply your colors and making sure that you have colors that work consistently.